In today's video I will be showing you how you can create a text to speech script. We will also be covering how we can save the output as an mp3 file. So the first thing we're going to do here is go ahead and create a new empty project in PyCharm and we need to open up the terminal because we need to install an external package called PYTTSX3. And this is going to convert any text we have to a default audio voice from the computer. Because of course we have a lot of pre-installed voices in our computer and we can just use those however we want. So let's go ahead and import PYTTSX3 and I'm just going to leave this note inside here, which I took from the documentation, because on Windows, you might run into this error that you will not have a module named Windows 32. And if you don't have it, you just need to perform pip install pi window 32. So I'm just gonna leave that there in case you get that error, you'll know how to fix that. But to create the actual text to audio class, we're going to go ahead and type in class and we're going to call it text to speech. And it's going to require an engine, and that's going to be the pyttsx3.engine. Next, we want to go ahead and create an initializer, so def init. And we want to go ahead and create some variables, such as the voice that we want to use, and the rate at which we want it to speak, and also the volume of the output audio, which will be of type float. Now, the self.engine is going to equal this, dot initialize so in it and if we want to change the default voice we'll just go ahead and say if there is a voice then we'll go ahead and call the engine so self dot engine set property and we want to set the voice with the voice property that we've selected then we'll go ahead and call the engine again and we're going to set the property for the rate which will be set to the rate of course and self dot engine dot set property for the volume, which is going to be the volume. Now, if it's your first time using this, you might be wondering what kind of voices do I have available in my computer? So to make this easier to understand, we're going to create a function that will list the available voices. And the voices are going to be of type list, which is going to equal an array of self.engine.get property, and we're going to get the voices. And then for i, voice in enumerates voices at the index of zero, so we can get all the elements inside this array. And let's go ahead and list those. So print a formatted string with the i plus one, and we'll insert the voice name, so voice.name, the voice.age, and what we're going to do next is get the voice.languages at the index of zero, the voice dot gender and we also want to get the id so inside here we're going to create some square brackets and some curly brackets and we're going to get the voice dot id and we need the voice id because that's what we'll be passing inside our initializer when we actually select a voice but with this being done let's go ahead and see which voices we have available so go ahead and type in main we're going to create a objects from our text to speech class. So TTS is going to equal text to speech. And we're just going to pass in none for now, since we don't have any voices to show. And the rate will be set at 200, which is the default, and 1.0, which is max volume. Then we can go ahead and say TTS list available voices. And when we run this program, we should get a lot of different voices here. And I'm running this on a MacBook, of course, so I'm going to have a lot of these com.apple.speech.synthesis kind of voices, and I can select any one I want. So I'm going to go ahead and take the English GB one. So here I'm going to go ahead and copy this, and I'm just going to leave a note down here so I can use it later. Then remaining inside our text-to-speech class, we're going to go ahead and create another function called text to speech and this is going to take a text of type string followed by whether we should save it or not and it's going to be set to false initially and we want to get a file name and the file name is going to have a default value of output.mp3 so first we're going to go ahead and call the engine 
and we're going to say that we want to say the following text. And inside here, we'll pass in the text that we want to say. And we're also going to print that the engine is speaking. So we'll say, I am speaking, dot, dot, dot. And if save is set to true, of course, we want to go ahead and save it to an audio file. So here we'll go ahead and type in self.engine.save to file. And we want to save the following text to the output file, which is the file name. And to make this all work, we need to call the engine one more time and say that we want to run it and we want it to wait. And that's the incredibly little code we need to make this all work. So now if we go ahead and type in TTS dot text to speech and we say hello there I am Python eyes and we run this program all right let's also comment out the list of available voices because that's going to spam the terminal but if we comment that out and run the program hello there I am Pythonidze. you're going to hear the default voice from your computer and I absolutely forgot that I didn't insert the English voice here so what I got was an Italian output but let me go ahead and change this to the original and we'll just place it inside here as a string. And when we run this, Hello there, I am Python eyes. As you could hear, it sounds wonderful and you have a bunch of voices to choose from and you can change the volume and the rate and you can insert as much text as you want inside here. So it's a very good program if you want to create some text to speech. But with that being said, guys, that's actually all I wanted to cover in today's tutorial. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson.